So today we are going to begin talking about countries um, of World War I, um, which are France, no. Russia, it's Britain, Austria or Austria-Hungary, Germany, and the Ottoman Empire. World War I is also known as the Great War, the War to End All Wars, and Europe's War at first. World War I would last from 1914 to 1919, and 9 million civilians and soldiers would die. There are four main causes um, that cause World War I. Militarism uh, is number one. It is the belief that one's military is very strong uh, and oftentimes countries think that their military could take down anyone else who you know tries to defy them or challenge them. It is a strong belief in love and military and the building up of a country's army or navy. A lot of times a policy of building up strong armed forces um, help to prepare for war. During the events uh, leading to World War I, countries wanted the strongest army and navy. For example, for example, Germany. Uh, for example, Kaiser William II um, was the Kaiser or the German emperor um, the Emperor of Austria or the head of the Holy Empire. Um, Kaiser William of Germany um, at the time of the First World War, um, he reigned from 1888 to 1918. He pushed for uh, more aggressive foreign policy by means of colonies and strong navies to compete with Britain. Yeah, I mean, I and his actions so added to the growing tension in the pre-1914 Europe. He wanted to prove Germany's strength. Yeah, I mean, so I, I was actually going to go over that list with you, but it's actually, you know, it's... it's, it's Kaiser William II's militaristic qualities yeah, I'll, may I'll, have I'll developed because of his um, crippled I'll left arm. Of the PHSA, uh, he may have uh, become a warrior to simply prove himself equal to his grandfather, uh, well, William I. So Germany started to build a strong navy. And while they were doing that, other countries were watching. So what do you think other countries would do in response to Germany's actions? Great Britain enlarged its navy and sought allies as a response to Germany's mili militaristic behaviors. Another main cause was the alliances that were formed. And alliances are mutual defense treaties or, or agreements. There were what they called entente, which was a friendly understanding. The triple entente um, was the name given to the loose alignment of Great Britain, France, and Russia after signing the Angle-Russia Entente in 1907. So who is the rival? The Triple Alliance or the Central Powers, which consisted of the German Empire, the Austria-Hungarian -Hungar Empire, and the Ottoman Empire. The name Central Powers is derived from the location of these countries, which if you check out the map that we filled out and created and we took a quiz on, you will see that these countries are located um, in the center or Central Europe. So now the question is, is there a problem making alliances with other countries? How might this affect um, the world as a, as a whole? And I just want you to take a minute, maybe pause the recording and think, is there a problem making alliances with other countries? The answer is yes. Because of these alliances, a war with any two would bring all of Europe at war. The third main cause is imperialism. 
And if you remember from our lessons last week, imperialism is a belief that a larger or stronger country goes and takes over smaller and weaker countries. So the stronger countries um, usually seek something that will play to their advantage when picking um, other countries to take over. Imperialism is based on competition for colonies to increase political and economic power. The fourth main cause is nationalism. Um, up here on the slide, I have provide, uh, I'm sorry, pride and love for one's country or people. It is a belief that one's country is the best and that their country is right. Um, they take pride in their country, they believe in their country, and they kind of hold it, uh, their country on a higher pedestal compared to others. And nationalism played a, a, a large role in one of those main causes right World War I began. Ethnic groups were divided up by borders. Yeah. And truly, the spark that started World War I was the assassin assassination of Franz Ferdinand. Archduke Ferdinand was assassinated in Sarajevo which caused Austria-Hungary's declaration of war against Serbia and eventually caused countries allied with um, Austria-Hungary. He was heir to the throne in Austria-Hungary, visiting the capital of Bosnia and Sarajevo. You see um, here on the right of the picture, that is his wife, Sophie. Here you see a picture of Hans Ferdinand in Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia, and his wife, Sophie. Hans Ferdinand's assassination on June 28, 1914, at the hand of a Serbian terrorist group, the Black Hand, led to the beginning of World War One. So as mentioned throughout this lesson, there are four main causes. The first main cause was militarism, then we had imperialism, nationalism, and alliances. Keep this in mind when you're answering uh, the upcoming lesson questions. And also keep in mind that the assassination of Franz Ferdinand was really a pivotal moment in, in modern world history or in world history. Uh, as his assassination led to the beginning of World War One.